What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I don't often say it, but I found a game that I legitimately enjoy. Uh, I think nowadays a lot of genres, such as battle royals and role-playing games, first-person shooters and all that, they're all getting kind of stale. Like, I think we can all agree that the base concepts are all getting to be the same, and I mean, for a while, the whole class-based shooter and turning it into a MOBA was interesting enough, but I think we're just subtly getting past that time, and... Well, then Retail Royale comes out. Uh, it was released on May 6th, and, you know, I'm I'm just getting into it. It's a couple weeks into release, but it is absolutely refreshing compared to everything that I've had to encounter so far. I mean, the general flow of the game is slow. It's hard. There's only 16 players in a match, but generally i mean if you're into hack and slash and shooters and games where you're going to be generally challenged i think that uh, retail royale might be for you the general consensus of the game is that you're just basically playing with a bunch of household appliances things you can pick up like barrels and boxes hammers and axes and then they've got a few interesting items like a pencil gun there's uh revolver there's all kinds of nifty things but like generally you're just playing this game in order to arm people well not even people from what i've gathered you're playing as some kind of like test dummy thing but for a battle royal it is fundamentally just it's very different than the traditional flow of what i've played after all um if i were to compare it to anything i think it's a much slower paced version of a game like chivalry or for honor it takes a little bit of pacing to master a little bit of uh, understanding of how melee goes and how to block parry and strike but generally i think that this type of gameplay is something refreshing in the course of what we've had to offer in the Battle Royal series. I am a little concerned about a few things in the game, but that is to go with anything. For instance, I think that it is very slow a lot of the time. Like, I'm spending 95% of the game just going around collecting scrap and items, and eventually I might come forward and be like, oh, hey, there's an enemy, only for them to run away for 10, 20 minutes. Other than that, the upgrade system seems to be really interesting. There are power-ups you can get in the game, things like armor and backpacks, which generally will upgrade your playability, but... Besides that, there are literal things like, you know, life leeching, stamina draining, and I believe there's one that actually adds more damage, and it's pretty neat. The combat system is a lot of charged attack, parry, push, things like that. It's all keyboard and mouse, but that being said, I think that this game could have a really strong potential if you mapped it towards a controller. I know that I was able to move around in-game with a PS4 controller, but I just, I couldn't for the life of me get around to like throwing the objects and everything but fundamentally this game has a lot going for it it is a very violent experience i will say that i think that it has a lot of inspirations from like the scp infinite ikea and things like that but in a lot of ways, I think that the kills and the means of traversing are very rewarding to a creative mind. For instance, you can throw things at people and then engage them in melee and try to get like a double hit, or you could use the area to like literally just jump around to higher areas via a trampoline and completely surprise everyone. The crafting system is spot on in the fact that you're not really trying to craft traditional like walls and fortifications like Fortnite. Instead, you're just going around and trying to get weapons. There's some upgrades for your... Uh... I'm actually not sure what the upgrades do too much because most of the crafting I've done is for like bows and arrows or pencils, uh, lockpicks and things like that. It is a really new game. It's in its 1.0 release and I think that the game has a lot to offer. Uh, Retail Royale is definitely something that I'll be playing. It has the ability to be played with another person and I believe squads as well. Uh, don't quote me on that though. I've only played like 29 minutes at this point. Actively, I'm going to be 
you know, recording this before I get the gameplay to do it, but I've played a couple matches to get used to it, and it's a lot of fun. The only thing that might really get some people, besides the fact that their graphics are really, it's easy on the computer, it's not the most realistic thing, is that this game has bots and players in the same lobby. It tries to fill up however many players it couldn't get with bots in a 16 match. And I've noticed that some of the bot AI is a little, um, sit there and do nothing. So, be that as it may, I think that that's just an early game bug with the AI itself, but otherwise that might be something really rudimentally important to what you want to fix. Other than that, I think that the weapon selection, the items that you can get a hold of, they're fun, they're creative, you know, like, I can run around with a hatchet or a hammer, there's fire axes, uh, I've, I fought someone with a broom that had a vampire enchantment on it earlier and it was just so to sweep or so to speak sweeping the floors with them and i just i think overall it's gonna be a really fun experience it is uh put out by let's see here dark's dev and it has a really positive review so far over the steam things overall it's got 3666 reviews as of time of recording and the most recent is about 211 positive reviews i really it's outside of the few little gripes that i have it is a really good game um outside of anything else i just want to address some things with my channel which is that i haven't really been posting a lot that's because i've been working outside of that we're trying a new format for content which is just being a little more natural with things and i'm gonna try to get more content out to you guys more often um i'm gonna use scripted content for more straightforward and you know research-based topics like i want to do more history more mythology and things like that but if i'm just going to talk to you about a game i think that we can do this more free form and you know interpersonal Either way, I hope that everyone's doing well that watches the channel. Um, yeah, take care. If you like my content or what I do here, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. Alright, peace.